I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Hey guys, my name is Shibby2142. I have been requested to do a new Shibby combo video. Now, this video is not the perfect timing because when the Karkan DLC comes out for the PS3, the FAMAS will be the new crown champion because obviously it was good in Black Ops, so it has to be the best in Battlefield 3. Right now, you know, as we take a break between the patch and Karkan DLC for the PC and Xbox while the PS3 users can have their fun time having it, the AEK, 971 is the new Shibby combo weapon, and I'll explain to you why with the numbers in a second. And the reason why I want to go inside the numbers is because I'm a critical viewer, that is from my college education and general upbringing. Because knowledge is power, I think gamers are pretty smart, especially Battlefield players, because it takes more tactics than just running around with your head cut off and spraying weapons in other competitor games. I'm not going to name names, but you guys know. I'm not sure if you're going to need to go into HD to actually see the numbers clearly, but I'm going to try and explain what is going on here. So you see the AEK and then a bunch of numbers in a grid. You see the F2000 and a bunch of numbers in the grid. So you see on the F2000 there's some up arrows next to standing Z, crouching Z, and prone Z. You also see the generic recoil increased for the F2000 left, up, and right. Therefore, the new reigning champion and the best assault rifle in Battlefield 3 before the FAMAS comes out on the PC, Karkan DLC, will be the AEK-971. You will also notice that the AEK has the fastest time to kill with 900 rounds per minute while the F2000 has 850 rounds per minute. Although the AEK has a slower reload time than the F2000, it's still better because of the recoil changes on the F2000. The accuracy plots you see on the bottom left side of the screen, those are green being the first bullet, yellow being the second bullet, orange being the third bullet, and red being the fourth bullet. So the AEK is more accurate, and you see that once again because the F2000 recoil has been increased. The new Shibby combo will be using the silencer and the foregrip. The reason for that is the silencer reduces aim down the sights spread and recoil in general. You see that 0.90. Also, the foregrip reduces recoil angle, which everyone knows by half, so you see that 0.50. So, there we go, behind the numbers and attachments for the sight. Personally, I like using the red dot. People might like the 4X or whatever, that's fine. The IRNV scope has been completely nerfed into oblivion, which I'm totally cool with, so that's not even an option. Stats-wise, that's really all I got for you guys right now. Once again, thank you to Simi. I will link him in the video description because it's his website, his work, it is awesome. Really educational if you want to check that out. All right, well that kind of video is a little bit different than I usually do. Not quite a 360 raffle sauce, no scope, but what can you do? So I put the combo to the test on 800 ticket. Large Conquest Grand Bazaar, it ended up being a lot of spawn camping, but what can you do? I don't know, that's just, that's life. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. That would be wonderful. And more videos like this will probably be coming out when Karkan launches on the 13th. See you guys next time.